Well, okay, ladies. We're all looking to spice up our wardrobes this summer and winter and all the time. But most of us don't exactly know where to start. So we have just the guest for you. She's got an eye for all things oat. Welcome Bayview Village's marketing maven, Melissa Evans-Lee, to what she said. Thank you. You're responsible for promoting Bayview Village Shopping Centre as Canada's most prestigious shopping destination, and you've put together a spring-slash-summer 2017 fashion report for us. So let's start at the beginning. What is the it colour of the season? Mm. Well, what I'm going to say might surprise you, but it really shouldn't. If you look at where we've been heading for the last Mm -hmm. little bit, recall last year, Rose Quartz was Mm. Pantone's Pantone's colour of the year. So the answer is pink. It is having a huge moment, not just in fashion. We saw it all over the major runways, but also home decor, home goods, restaurant decor, packaging. Our logo. Exactly. (laughs) Uh, Is there a pink for every skin tone for every person? Absolutely. And that's why it's so popular. And that's why it sells is that it's very flattering. There is Mm -hmm. a pink for every skin tone. So that's the good news. And the other thing is it's it plays well in the closet. So in other words, you can style it with everything that you already have. Yeah, red. Pink and red. Pink yes. and red? Yes. I like pink and orange. Pink and orange. I know. It's like, so you see yeah, white, denim, yeah. black, everything that you already have, green. And it also can be a winter color to break up, as Kate mm-hmm. said, gray and black and navy and, you know, just a Absolutely. pop. Absolutely. Right? A punctuator, which we all need because we all have way too much black. Mm, don't we? Yeah, don't, don't we? we? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Black, gray, and navy. So and this is refreshing, and, and it's not going away. Because we are seeing it in all those different areas, as I say, whether it's decor or packaging, this has a long shelf life. This is not going to be one of those fly-by-night colors that's here today, gone tomorrow. You don't go and buy a pink couch, and then next year you're buying a green couch. Like, there is longevity in this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about the it pattern? Are florals back? Because you have a beautiful florals. Florals are definitely back, but it's stripes. Stripes? Oh, 100%. And it's always interesting to me to look at the fashion world's uh, sort of summary of what they saw on the runway. Because Mm -hmm. it is so subjective and it is up to interpretation, but not this year. Overwhelmingly, everyone said the prevailing theme would be stripes. Now, the good news is, like pink, stripes... Everybody, there's a stripe for everybody. You can wear it. So despite the fact that people think that stripes make you look bigger, that's actually not true. That's one of those old wives tales. A horizontal stripe t-shirt is not. No, and actually they did research where they had two women, both the same size, both wearing stripes, one vertical, one horizontal. And it was the woman wearing the horizontal, the side to side by side Mm. or side to side stripes that actually was deemed to be thinner. So it's one of those, you know, fashion things that we've come to believe along the way, like don't wear white after Labor Day, that we can dispense with. There is a stripe for everyone, and there are tips and tricks, and that's probably the topic of another segment, but you can make it work, even if you're petite or curvy, what have you. What is the biggest fashion trend of the season? Athleisure. So that's this idea of wearing active wear, bringing that into your everyday life. So I'm talking about designer leggings, cashmere sweats, this loungewear, tennis shoes, bomber jackets like what I'm wearing today. I'm not talking velour track suits. Um, This is more gym wear out of the Hamptons, I'll say. I I see women looking great and they don't look like they've just come from the gym, as you said. But a lot of it has to do with the shoes that they're Absolutely. I, part of the magic of that is mixing it with other things. So you don't want to do this look head to toe. Mm-hmm. So maybe you have the dressy track pant and Judith and Charles has an amazing version of this, but then you pair it with heels or like what I'm doing today, a bomber jacket, but I've got a fairly casual top And on. you have pink shoes on. Oh, I, I always <laughs> have pink shoes on. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But it, that's an interesting one because we've been talking about this for many seasons. So this is not trend anymore. It's veering into classic territory. And there's lots of reasons for that. There's this increased health consciousness. um, There's cultural shifts in the workplace that whereby, you know, it's not as dressy as it once was. Like how many people do you know that wear suits every day in the workplace? Less and less. Mm -hmm. Um, People want more functionality when it comes to their wardrobe. Mm -hmm. So where we talked about desk 
to dinner wear previously. It's now also about gym to office wear. Mm -hmm. And people want to be comfortable. This idea of sort of suffering for fashion, yeah. no more. People well, aren't it's interested sort of in that. Leggings, for example, that were definitely just gym wear. And pe runners would wear it and what. And now they're so fancy and people will just wear running shoes and then stick on a pair of heels and go out for dinner. Absolutely. And nobody thinks twice. Or a dress with really nice sneakers. Yeah. A pair of Adidas shoes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So what would you say are the top five musts for summer? You're only giving me five. I'm only okay. giving you five, Melissa. Um, number one, mom jeans. So this is that cross between the high-waisted skinny jean and maybe the boyfriend jean. Mm -hmm. So in other words, hallelujah. We're yeah, no longer okay. inadvertently flashing people with the low-rise jeans. So. Thank you. Th or the muffin top. Exactly. Thank you, so thank you, thank you. Mendocino has a great pair of Levi's that are worth checking out. I would say number two is a pair of slides or mules, mm -hmm. so that sandal. Um, Capizio has a great one, Kendall and Kali, with a kind of a chain detail. And that's actually one of the musts. If we go to mm -hmm. my lookbook online, you'll see those. Jumpsuit, one mm -hmm. and done. One mm -hmm. piece dressing for summer. So easy breezy. Don't have to worry about it. Looks good on everybody. Bananas got a Banana Republic has a really great V-neck cropped version. Worth checking out as well. Um, number four, kimono or robe. So, you know, that boho, chic 70s vibe looks good with everything. So dress, denim, bathing suit. So, which is why it's perfect for travel, because you could wear it one night over a dress for dinner, and then you could wear it poolside the next day. So where, where can you get that? Mendocino, Mendocino has a lot. Has Honey has a lot. Okay. Wow. And then last but not least, something white. We got to lighten up. As we talked about, everyone has way too much black in their closet. So something white. What's the uh, this season's fun fashion item? You're going to love this one. Furry sandals. My daughter bought a pair uh, just a couple of weeks ago. And yeah. she came and said, what do you think of those? <laughs> was, they, they reminded me of almost 50s boudoir slippers. Aren't they funny? Yeah. You know what? When I first saw those, I thought, oh, my God, never, not ever. <laughs> uh, those are ridiculous. And so that's one of the things. Never say never, right? right? Because Absolutely. now once you see it styled, yeah, they're ridiculous. They're impractical, but they're fun. And fashion should be that. So let's take your crystal ball out and have a look at what's coming up for fall. In terms of color, red will be hot. Uh, burgundy, floral, print of the season, um, which is always great to see in that context, mm -hmm. fall, winter. Velvet, a lot of velvet as sort of the texture of the season. And then lots of fun fur, 70s plaid, fishnets. Fishnets? Yep, and pantsuits. Thanks, Hillary. Yeah. <laughs> and boots. Tell me boots. High boots. You know what? We're, footwear's funny. The last couple seasons, anything goes, right? So you're seeing mm -hmm. heels, you're seeing pointy, you're seeing rounded toe, you're seeing flat. So I feel like there's something for everyone in footwear, which is really exciting. Well, there, there again, I think people are don't want to wreck their feet anymore. You are, as they said, right. the comfort. It's like exactly. we want to walk. We want to walk more. We want to be able to incorporate our exercise. Yeah. So there's, I mean, I can't walk in heels anymore. So right. I'm looking for nice, cute flats or just a like a kitten heel kind well, of Well, me height. too. That's and I've, I've said this to you gals before. I came out of the womb wearing high heels and even I'm looking for flats too. So I've already, I'm already got a jump start on fall, winter with a chunky sort of block heel, mm -hmm. embroidered, round toe uh, booty that I found at Capizio. So tell people how they can connect with Bayview Village and your special page, which is Melissa's Musts. Mm, well, uh, our website is bayviewvillageshops.com, and there we have our spring-summer lookbook, as well as I'm featuring 45 must-haves for the season. And we only gave you five. I know. <laughs> so you'll have to go to the website and check that out. Absolutely. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure. This is what she said. Stay with us.